All right. <clears throat> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Tan, and today I will introduce you to my senior project, a regenerative brake system. And through this presentation, I will introduce you to my motivation, how my device works, my analysis, and I will tell you about the uh, construction, what trouble did I get during I construct the project, and also my testing line, what, which is my task in the spring, for the spring quarter. All right, first, um, motivation. This project was motivated by a need for a device that would increase the efficiency of the bike. <clears throat> there are a lot of ways to increase the efficiency of the bike, such as um, lightening the frame or take out some unnecessary parts. And through my project, a regenerative brake system will be built and add, add to the bike to help you increase the efficiency of the bike. And the ways my and here is the 3D modeling of my device. Uh, it includes two parts, the electric parts and the transmission parts. Um, the way my device works is it will have a manual switch and so when the switch is on, the models will use the power from the battery to through the transmission go to the front wheel of the bike to help you increase the efficiency of the bike when you go uphill. When you go downhill or on a flat ground, you switch the switch, you turn the switch off and the the transmission will transfer the torque from the front wheel back to the motor and the motor will act as a generator to recharge the battery and save the energy when you need. And, we, and since I'm using um, SOLIDWORKS for student version, so I cannot um, simulate the, the genes to, to draw it. Because, uh, when I simulate about like 18 to 20 links, then the computer stopped working. So I decided to draw, use the belts and do the belts and shift instead. But in the real world, I use the, the sprocket and the chain. <coughs> and my analysis. So this is a very rough draft of my device, uh, right hand view. Um, it, it, uh, with the mechanical amplitude, I use the, it includes the small sprocket, sprocket with uh, 11 teeth and a large sprocket with uh, 55 teeth. So the ratio is five to one. And the large sprocket uh, is connected to the front wheel using the hubs and the mounting plates. And they are connected together by the change. And based on the equation, power equal torque times omega. With the unchanged power, with the unchanged power, the less the less uh, RPM will result in more torque for the device. <coughs> And next, I will tell you about my construction. So during the winter, during the winter quarter, I build the, I build my project, and everything worked fine until I have to put my large sprocket into the, into the frame of the bike, and the, the space between the bike, the space between the frame of the bike is not very a lot, about 100 millimeters. So I have to use another hub to, in order to put the sprocket in and the mounting with the new mounting blades. And the mounting blades has to be very thin enough. And since it's very thin, it's very easy to be bent or broken. So I have to be very careful about that. And, I, and it's also hard for me to put it in the, onto the machine to machine it. And after a while, I figure out how to frame it, and I put it like this onto the building machine. And for the outside shape, um, since the outside shape of the mountain blades is not very important for me, so I decided to do it by hand using the hand saw and the file. And here's the oops, here's the pictures when I I've done with the when I then with the mounting blades and connect it to the hubs with the sprocket. And here's the pictures when I 
put it onto the frame of the bike. And for the energy part, since, since I'm an MET student, I'm not very familiar with the energy parts and components. So uh, Mr. Davis, Professor Davis Nathan designed the circuit for me and I built it uh, based on my knowledge. And I also have help from uh, Jacob, the uh, electric, uh, electric lab assistant. He helps me building build this circuit. And here is the pictures of my system when I put it onto the frame of the bike with the electric motor, with the electric circuit right here. <coughs> and here is the video of my device works. So as you can see, the chain is a little is shaking badly because um, the center to center distance of the two sprockets is uh, 17, 17 inches. It's like a lot in compare with the size of the chain is a quarter of an inch. And also the, because of the chain is a little slop out of the sprocket, but I fixed that. And in, um, <coughs> in spring quarter, I start testing my my device and I decided to test the efficiency of my device. So first I measure the RPM from the model without the transmission and the RPM varies from 1300 to 1200 RPM and with the power from the model is 300 watts. I can collect the torque is about 181.1 pound inch. And after that, second, I measure the RPM from the light sprocket and the hubs to measure the output, to measure the, um, the efficiency and, and because they will have some loss due to the friction and, um, and the weight of the change and a little of my sprocket. And uh, the, the efficiency is varies from 1 to 11 percentage for the loss percentage. So <coughs> it's uh, not a lot for my device. And the budget I use for my project from four quarters, I estimated is $252.35. And the actual I spend is 215 dollars and 47 cents it's a lot it's a little cheaper because i got from uh, i got some electric uh, components from for free from the electric labs and the, the hours i spend is almost 200 hours for my project all right so in conclusion today um, i introduced you to you about my project i talked to you about uh, the motivation how my device works um, I also share with you the, the trouble I got when I built my system and also my testing plan. Uh, thank you for listening. Do you have any questions? Yeah.